Hi, it's uh, DriveWire DIY here. Uh, just going to show you something simple. Uh, <clears throat> if you uh, get an engine light on and it's a PO141 or various other heat, O2 sensor heater circuit uh, uh, codes, this is something you can do. I'm just going to show you uh, a simple test on your uh, O2 sensor just to show you how to find if you've got a, a broken heater circuit on your O2 sensor. Uh, these are the codes you want to look for. Uh, there's other ones as well. Uh, PO155, I think that's another one. Uh, it depends on what bank it's on. So if you get a get a sensor heater circuit code, I can show you a quick test to do. Uh, you need a uh, DVOM for it. Just going to uh, check the ohms, the resistance on the uh, heater wires. So uh, I'll take you through that next. Right, so this is an exhaust from a uh, Vauxhall Opal Zafira. Uh, this is the downstream O2 sensor. Uh, so if you get a code like I've shown you, on here you've got a four pin connector, uh, four wires, and what you've got is uh, uh, two white wires. Those are your uh, heater sensors, heater sensor wire. Obviously when you uh, start the car up, the O2 sensor has to be at temperature to actually get good reading. So uh, if those don't work, the chances are your car's going to be running pretty uh, dodgy anyway. So what you've got to do is find the resistance between that white wire and that white wire. So uh, we're going to do that next. Just get your DVO in, DVO in and change it to our uh, uh, ohm settings to uh, see what your resistance is going to be. So on here, I don't know if you can see any better. So you've got your four connectors and you've got inspection holes as well. So what we don't want to do is, is splay apart those connectors. We want to probe just above them into those inspection holes that we've been given. Right, so what I've got here, just trying to keep it together. See it? So I've got two probes in on the uh, heater wires, on the heater connectors. So I've got it to ohm, set to ohms. It's showing good continuity. So I know my heater, uh, O2 heater is good, but if that continuity disappeared, or the res resistance was really, really high, then I know we've got a problem. So we probably have to replace our O2 sensor. If it's nothing like that, then it's probably gonna be something else to do with your wiring. You really, really need to check your wiring. Uh, but just see if we can get a better picture. You can sort of see see where I've put them in. You can see where I've put them in. So they're just above the connector. They're not actually in the connector. That's giving me that uh, uh, continuity value. So uh, that's what I'm doing. So make sure you get those probes in the right way. You want the two uh, two white wires on here. Obviously, it may vary for different uh, uh, different other vehicles and models and stuff like that. That's my uh, that's where it's in. That's where it bounces. This is a downstream sensor, and it probably be, it will be the same for the upstream sensor as well. So uh, <clears throat> obviously, always check your specs. Uh, but this is a good. It seems to be a good quality. Uh, O2 sensor, so I'm going to keep hold of that. Uh, so hopefully this helps you. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got an issue with it, let me know, and uh, we'll learn from that. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to ring the bell.